What's up, YouTube? Tag team, back again. Check the record. Now let's begin. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I lied. I'm not a tag team. I'm alone. So, so very alone. Like these classic games that are left alone. <laughs> am I right, guys? Am I, am I right? I'm, I'm right. Okay. So, today I bring to you. The game hang on uh there's a dash in the name for you to hang on to sort of like the hyphen and spider-man is for him to swing from see that's a joke see i'm improving all right so the game dropped in 1985 and of course it's from sega because you know they were running the game something unique about the way this game was played is it didn't involve an actual joystick or buttons so it's kind of weird to play it now, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Sega released three different versions of the arcade cabinet, with some using actual motorcycle parts. The first was a standard cabinet with handlebars and pedals on the floor, so you look kind of stupid. Like, if you were tall, you had to like hunch over on the machine. It, it's like, I don't know, you look stupid. If you were short, you were like reaching up on the handlebars, like, can I see over the wheel? I don't know. I, I wonder if it was adjustable or whatever. Uh, the second one just added a seat, so I guess that made it easier for people to like control it, I guess. But the third one was really cool. Like it was a full like motorcycle, like right there. And uh to control it you use the actual throttle and the brakes for the motorcycle and it was all good, right? But the really cool part about this is the uh video screen. It was like placed in the windshield of the bike so like sega set up this like fake virtual reality thing i guess is that what it's like early virtual reality maybe i don't know i don't know man sega was doing big things back then out here balling sega balling um anyway uh during the game oh wait wait what was i gonna i was gonna say something else about the motorcycle wait um, yeah, so they actually used the throttle and the brakes, handlebars, and lean, it was like mounted, so you could lean to like, lean into the curves, as you see. It's a lot of curves in the game, you gotta lean into lean. And I leaned away from the game. I'm sorry. Anyway, alright, so, during the game, you'll see all these ads for like, actual companies and stuff, but I won't say their names, because they don't pay us nothing. Alright, so uh, in the game, one of the ads is for a cigarette company. Now, later on in 1989, there were some lawsuits and uh, Sega got in trouble, they got sued, and eventually Japan set up a law that you can't advertise to kids anymore. Well, you can still advertise in games, but you cannot do cigarettes or alcohol, things like that. So that's because Sega, they were out here selling ad space for cigarettes in their games. Come on. And it, it wasn't just this game, it's like, there were like three other ones, like, I don't know, Sega, what's up with that, dog? You just ruined these kids' lives for, for no reason. No reason, Sega. Why do you hate the kids, Sega? Nintendo got love for the kids, not you, Sega. Meanwhile, today, Sega just wants to ruin kids' lives by mixing uh, Sonic the Hedgehog with Rock Lee and Fred Jones from Scooby-Doo. I, I just can't wait till Sonic breaks out that front lotus attack. That's that's gonna be great. Rock Lee, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait, just, just wait till Sonic don't wrap his hands. You ain't you ain't ready for it. You ain't ready for it. You ain't ready for it. Anyway, so I actually think this game is like, I guess it's kind of fun. I guess I, I'll admit it. I actually enjoyed one of these games, but uh, I'm not really fond of motorcycles in real life, dog. I had a friend with one, and he gave me a ride. I mean, I had to wrap my arms around his waist and black my fingers so I wouldn't fall off. And I don't know, that was that was a weird experience. I'm a grown man, and I got my arms wrapped around another man's waist, my fingers locked. And we're just sitting at a red light, and he's like, yo, set your dick in my back. And, and I'm just sitting there like, I, 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 I ain't getting nothing, yeah, yeah, 
and he just starts laughing and shit. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> like 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 dicks in the back is funny. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't find it funny if somebody put a dick in my back. That's 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 weird. Don't that's not laughing. He, he's just laughing. Ha <laughs> ha. He's laughing like. <laughs> he's like I see you packing back there. <laughs> and it's, it's not funny anymore. Like I, I, I feel awkward. I, I got my dick on your back and and I got my arms wrapped around. This this is awkward. We we a couple in this moment. It's it's strange. And he's just cracking up <laughs> like. <laughs> dicks in the back. Dicks in the back. And he's laughing. And he's like don't even trip about it. My mama had an orgasm back here and. I I don't like motorcycles this video is over like subscribe share leave me alone bye